most perpetrators of rape are usually people in their 20s or maybe older than that. But in this case, it's so bizarre and shocking that we're dealing with a group of five people and at least three of them raped the woman in question, but four of the five perpetrators were only teenagers and not late teenagers, they were actually 15, 14 and 16 years old. And then already raping and murdering someone? That's absolutely insanity. Now one of them was actually 22. And I think he was also one of the persons who raped this victim. But that just goes to show you that it's apparently even possible with the young people. It's absolutely horrifying. Now the victim's name was Janine Balding. And she was from New South Wales. At the time of her death she was 20. And it all happened a month before her 21st birthday. Then she was abducted from a Sutherland railway station car park by a group of homeless persons consisting of four males and one female. That's also something that I found kind of surprising that they were homeless and they were still in their teenage years. Now this occurred on the September 8th, 1988. So maybe times were totally different back then. I don't know. I wasn't even born then. So I can't really say from personal experience whether that is strange or not, but it sounds rather odd to me. Now these persons, the perpetrators, were Bronson Blessington, Matthew Elliott, Stephen Jamieson, Wayne Wilmot and Carol Arrow. Blessington had met Jamieson and Elliott at a homeless shelter named The Station in the Sydney CBD earlier that day and had proposed, why don't we get a Sheila and rape her? A quote which became infamously known through Australian news media. The idea was agreed to and Arrow and Wilmot joined in. The victim, who was to be picked at random, became Janine Balding. This is absolutely crazy. It's like, how, in what sort of state of mind do you need to be in to just be like, oh, let me just rape a person, uh, let's go outside and then, yes, we have the intent of rape, and I see that woman over there, I'm gonna rape her. That sounds so messed up. In a way, I'm almost inclined to think that it's more messed up than a person who at least has a specific victim in mind, but that's even messed up, I know. But this sounds even scarier because it goes to show you that psychopaths, they sometimes really have no rules at all and anybody can be their potential victim. Now the woman, Janine, was driven in her own vehicle to the side of the F4 freeway at Mitchenbury in Sydney's west and during that time was partially stripped of her clothing and raped at knife point by Blessington, who was at the time 14. Jameson, who was at the time 22, and Elliot, who was 16. Arrow and Wilmot were in the car but did not rape her. On arrival at Minchinbury, she was again raped. She was then dragged from her vehicle, gagged with a scarf, hogtied, then lifted over a fence and carried into a paddock by Blessington, Jameson and Elliot. She was then held down and drowned in a dam on the property. All five members of the group were arrested and charged over the murder and each faced court. After weeks of deliberations and testimonies, Elliot, Blessington and Jameson were each given life sentences while Wilmot was sentenced to seven and a half years in jail and Arrow released on a good behavior bond because the pair didn't participate in the rape and murder of Belding. Now I'm kind of surprised that the woman, Arrow, Carol Arrow, was released on good behavior. So there I don't really understand that part because after all she may not have raped and murdered Janine here, but she did help get her to another location and drive around in the car. She didn't stop the rape and murder. Actually, it was a choice of hers that she made to join in on the actual act of helping these guys find a victim, I suppose. Maybe not. Maybe she just walked around like a mindless zombie at the time and was just like, yeah, oh, I hear these guys are gonna rape somebody. I'm just gonna be, uh, you know, I'm just gonna sit next to them while it happens. I'm not gonna do anything myself. I'm just gonna be there because I got nothing better to do. That's what it sounds like. Really, it's absolutely stupid. Sensing of Blessington and Elliot became a topic of extreme controversy because at the time they committed the murder and were sentenced, they were aged 14 and 16, becoming the youngest killers in Australia to be convicted and given the maximum sentence for murder. In sentencing the defendants, Justice Newman said, to sentence people so young to a long term of imprisonment is of course a heavy task, 
However, the facts surrounding the commission of these crimes are so barbaric that I believe I have no alternative other than to impose upon these young prisoners, even despite their age, a life sentence. So grave is the nature of this case that I recommend that none of the prisoners in the matter should ever be released. For some reason, it kind of made, almost made me giggle, but... Because I'm like, this, that, that, that's a good point the judge had there. In 2007, Elliot and Blessington were granted an additional appeal based on a staple missing from their files. Essentially, it was argued because the Crown indictment was not stable to the court file, it was not fixed to the court file as required by law, and the judgment was therefore not technically finalized. The High Court of Australia subsequently rejected this ground of appeal. In February 2016, Bronson Blessington lodged an appeal to be released from prison given he was only 14 at the time he committed the murder. He claimed he found God, that he was remorseful for his actions and was a changed man. Despite these claims, Janine's family reported that nearly three decades on from the murder, it has not received any formal apology or letter from Blessington expressing such remorse and did not believe he had changed. Who at that age, let alone at any age, but at that age specifically would be like, let's just rape someone and after we rape them, well, let's just murder them as well. Why not? We already broke the law. It sounds like it was no big deal at the time for them, so I guess they got what they deserved. Sentenced to life imprisonment plus 25 years. I do re feel like the other two got away with murder quite easily. They were considered accessory to murder. So I guess it's a good thing to know that if you want to witness murder, if you desire to murder, just have somebody else do it. And then just be an accessory to the crime, man. You don't get convicted as hard. At least you get the enjoyment of watching someone be raped and be murdered. Because that's what these two young people actually did. They're still alive, most likely, unless they committed suicide. But since they were so young at the time, they're probably still alive. And if they ever see this video, well... And I hope you realize that you got off very lucky. Because I've seen sensing way worse than what you all got. I hope the victim is resting in peace. And as always, dear viewer, have sweet dreams.